Welcome back to Introduction to Scrabble, brought to you by Collins, Mattel, and the Scrabble Association of India, in partnership with Scrabble Association of Delhi and Wordaholics. As promised, in today's session, we shall tell you about how to count and keep score. So let's look at uh, an example of the word quiet, Q-U-I-E-T. So when placed on the board, this is the first move and it has to, one of the tiles has to touch the center star. When this move is played in this manner, uh, we've explained the counting over here on the left, you have 10 points for Q, one for U, one for I, one for E and one for T. That makes it 14. You have to multiply this by two because E is on a double word score. E is the center star, which is a double word score and we get 28 points for this move. But strategy and board vision are a very important part of Scrabble. So we rethink how we've placed it on the board. And if the alphabet Q were to be now placed on this blue uh, double letter score, Q with 10 points will now give you 20 points. And we can play the word quiet like this. It is still a valid move because T is now touching the center star. So it satisfies the condition of any one tile touching the center star. The points for this word now will be 10 multiplied by two for Q because Q is on a double letter score. That's 20 plus one for U plus one for I plus one for E and one for T. That gives you a total of 24 points. And because T is on a double word score, and hence this move will get you 48 points. So the very same word, when played differently, can give you so many more points. Also, since strategizing is uh, very important to Scrabble, the word quiet played like this with the E next to a double letter uh, score over year and year uh, is something which we should avoid. This gives an advantage to your opponent to maximize their score in the next move by using uh, the vowel that you have gifted to them. So if we were to simply uh, play the word quiet, Q-U-I-T-E, interchange the E and the T, the word would still score you 48 points and not give an undue advantage to your opponent. For this example, we leave it as the word quiet as in Q-U-I-E-T. Now this is your tile rack. We have A-E-I-N-S-S-T. Those of us who have been playing Scrabble and look for bingos uh, in uh, the new tiles that come on your rack, uh, there are various seven letter bingos that can be made from these tile racks. Words like Antasis, Nasty, Satan, Sestina, Tansies and Tisanes are all valid words in Scrabble and we encourage you to go look up their meanings. But for our example, we'll try to use the T from the board over here and play the word nastiest, N-A-S-T-I-E-S-T. -E now, when played like this, the N is on a triple word score. How do you count points for this move? You have one for N, one for A, one for S, and you have one multiplied by two for T because T is on a double letter score. So we go one plus one, two plus one, three plus two, five plus one, six plus one, seven plus one, eight and plus one, nine. So the word nastiest has only given us nine points. But because N is on a triple word score, we multiply nine by three and that is 27. And because we have used all seven tiles on our rack, this is a bingo. And hence we have to add 50 points to the 27 points. And this move gives you 77 points. Now let's see how we can write scores or keep a score sheet during a game. This score sheet that you see on this uh, right side of your screen, uh, there are various versions of a uh, score sheet. And this is just one example of it. Uh, we'll try and explain this to you. Uh, 
Uh, the score sheet has to be maintained by both the players who are playing. So uh, if player one and player two are playing, both of them will keep their own separate score sheets. Player one is the person who has won the toss and player two score is written in the next column. And the person with the highest cumulative score at the end of the uh, game wins the game. Let's explain that to you. So look at this uh, square on the left of the board. You have player one who plays a move a uh, four-letter word for 20 points. The play, uh, player will announce the score as uh, 20, write it down, and now draw four fresh tiles from the tile bag so that there are uh, seven tiles on their rack at any given time. Now it is player two's turn, and player two plays, this, uh, plays a five-letter word uh, scoring 45 points. The score will be written like this, and... Uh, the player will now take out five fresh tiles from the tile pack. We go back to player one's turn. Player one now makes a move for 48 points. That makes it a total of 68 points at the end of move two. Player two now makes a move of 35 points. So player two has a total of 45 plus 35. That is 80 points after move two. Let's look at the score sheet again over here. What we have basically done is you add 20 to 48 and you reach a total of 68. For player two in the same manner, 45 points was the total after move one and you add 45 to the 35 points for move two and now the total is 80. In move three, player uh, one, has a score of 42 points and the total becomes 110. Player two has a move of 40 points. And then you add 80 to 40, giving you a total of 120. You do not have to add all the other scores at the top. You only add your fresh score to the cumulative score before that move. So look once again at the score sheet. You have 68, which was the cumulative score after move two. 68 plus 42, which gives you 110. For player two, it is 80 plus 40, which gives you 120. Suppose in move four, player uh, one uh, scores a zero point. There are two ways in which a player can score zero points. Uh, the player could have uh, either played a phony word and it was challenged off from the board, or the player has exchanged tiles during that move. We'll explain about these in our next um, video. But for now, uh, if player one has got zero points, has not scored during that move, you still have to write down the score. You have to write zero. And then player one is said to have a score of 110 after move four. Player two in the meanwhile has uh, scored 60 points in that move and hence the total will be 180, so you get the gist. Keep adding after each move. Suppose the game were to end at this point. Uh, the cumulative score after uh, move five is 110, so that is the total for player one. Uh, the total for player two at the move, end of move five is 180, so it is obviously player two who has won the game. And then we see something called spread over here. The spread is the difference between the two scores. Now, the difference between these two scores is 70. The spread will remain the same for both players, except that the player who has won will have a positive spread and the other player will have a negative spread. Now that you're armed with how to play your moves on the board, how to count and how to uh, write your scores on your score sheets. We hope you start enjoying your games on the board and we shall see you in our next session whilst we explain to you the rules of exchanging and challenging. Until next time, uh, from Collins Mattel Scrabble Association of uh, India, the Scrabble Association of Delhi and Verdaholics, it's goodbye for now.